the right. Fake. Here's a look. A flop pass in the end zone. And touchdown, Oklahoma. A lot of this. And he's right out of body. And he's sacked. He is sacked. Center sack. fans, about 30,000 in attendance, cheering their team as Oklahoma is the 89th Rose Bowl game champion. At the 9 yard line to the 10 and a 51 yard kick to the 20 to the 25 30. Oh, what a great run to the 40. He can go all the way. 50. Kick. Oh, it's blocked. Straight block. There's great block this into the end zone. Hey, the Sooners are going to recover it for a touchdown. Short drop. Looks down the middle. Bob's a long, long pass downfield. Touchdown. Up the and the Sooners are Big 12 champions. Tremendous. A new, N new NCAA record for punt returns. Three game balls for Perk. Antonio Perkins, 277 yards, seven punt returns and three of them go for touchdowns. Two new NCAA records and quite a day for Antonio Perkins and quite a day for the Oklahoma Sooners, 59-24 winners over UCLA. And that looked like a lot of fun in the locker room. That really was. Uh, some game balls given out, Antonio, three game balls for three <laughs> touchdowns. But uh, other guys that uh, all the punt return unit uh, got game balls. All the guys you see some excellent blocking, uh, really worked hard. and and finish their blocks. We've been close in a couple of other games for some other you know, big returns and one or two guys have missed, didn't finish a block and allowed a guy to come off late and, and, and chase down Antonio. So we finished some blocks and, and got him out the gate. Those guys all uh, got game balls. Mark Clayton uh, was also given a game ball on offense and then on defense. Uh, Brandon Everidge, Tommy Harris, and Wayne Chambers in his first start Is that out right? there stepping in for Lance Mitchell. A lot of attention on him. Uh, came out and really played well. Was very solid. Was strong in the middle and uh, really, uh, really played well. So Mark Clayton and also Perkins will be here live with us a little bit later. Uh, I guess that answers the the next question I had for you. With Lance Mitchell out of the game, probably out for the season, Wayne Chambers steps in. So he must have played well. He was very solid. Uh, you know that we. Uh, give up a little bit of a drive early, uh, but some of that uh, it, it's not Wayne's. You know. Uh, Overall, we misaligned a time or so, missed a tackle here or there, but, but overall, uh, Wayne was very strong in the middle, uh, tackled well. Uh, we settled down, I think, right there after the first series or two and really played some great defense there for a good part of the game. Here you see Wayne Chambers. He and, as you mentioned, uh, Tommy Harris, an outstanding game, and Brandon Everts yeah. knocking some people from the yeah. secondary. Yes, he had, he had a, a bunch of tackles, a lot of great hits. Uh, he's the one that tips the ball to, to Eric Bassey, who returns it for a touchdown. And, and Eric Bassey stepped up and made some excellent plays, recovered a fumble, had an interception for a touchdown, you know, had four or five tackles and, and played in a good way. So, you know, overall, those guys stepped in and, and did a good job. Well, didn't he also have the... We'll see the highlight later, but didn't he have the, the forced fumble that uh, Tommy Harris exactly. plucked out of midair? I should have said that, and, and another <laughs> forced fumble that, that Tommy Harris looked so good returning. But, uh, you know, so Eric stepped in and made some good plays, uh, you know, as well. So it's good, pleasing to see those guys step into those roles and, and pick up and make plays and, and give us a, some more solid defense. Yeah, you know, UCLA ends up with a handful of points, but it, uh, your defense played pretty well. In fact, Perkins had more yards in returns than UCLA had. And Bob, you have Derek Strait did not start, and I, I guess didn't play the uh, all-star cornerback, and then Lance. So you, you were missing some guys and still played well. We're missing two first-team All-Conference and, and All-American uh, candidates, and uh, but still played awfully well. Uh, yeah, there's a touchdown given up on a kickoff return. There's an interception that's uh, right. taken back inside our ten. You know that that accounts for 14 points. Uh, yeah, well, overall the defense still forced, I believe, nine punts. Right. And uh, I, I think many of those were. Th three and outs, still forced uh, four turnovers, still played in a very solid way. All right, when we come back, we'll see first quarter action. Sooners and UCLA, stay with us. It's great to help the team win, and it, it means a great deal to me, too. And only my name go down in the record books. I wish the whole punt return unit could go down, but it's only me, so 
I just wish, like I said, give them most of the credit. I wish they could go down with me. I think that, you know, on offense and defense, we all made pretty good plays. I mean, from Perk on special teams to, you know, Eric Bass, he's making an interception to, you know what I'm saying, um, the receivers catching big, big balls and touchdowns. Um, and, you know, just everybody just tried to make good plays. We just needed to work uh, from, the, you know, the first game. We wanted to go out and win and get better every week, and I think we have, but we can't stop getting better. Uh, that's that's something we kind of worked on throughout two days to getting better every day, and now we got to get better every week and learn from our mistakes. And throughout four games, I think we've improved every game on certain in certain areas. So uh, it's definitely it's definitely working so far, and hopefully keep it going through the Big 12 conference. You know, that's where I was headed, Bob. Jason certainly put it in in perfect. Uh, uh, perspective there. Your team came out to play each of these four non-conference games where sometimes it's easy to maybe overlook someone. Uh, you didn't overlook anyone at any part during the game. I don't believe so. We, um, you know, for four games this has been a challenging non-conference schedule. Probably uh, one of the more difficult ones as you look around the country and or certainly in the Big 12 uh, uh, division. But uh, but we have, but and I, I think what's good about that too is it's been so challenging that it's made us be focused and ready each right. and every week, and that's a good habit to be in, uh, to be focused, ready to play each and every week. Um, that's what you want leading into the Big 12 schedule. Jason White, uh, his numbers weren't what they have been, but do you still get from him what you expect and need to get in that game? Absolutely, 17 of 25 is pretty good. Right, uh, 17 out of 25 with two touchdowns. Yeah, you know, uh, you have two interceptions there that uh, you know Jason will learn from. He's still gaining experience and getting better all the time. He still had an excellent day, uh, 17 of 25 and two touchdowns and had a touchdown dropped, had a couple other yeah. balls dropped. Uh, so, you know, he still was very good. <laughs> I take that back then. The numbers were fine there. The, you, you know, you, the, the bar gets so high, you look out there and you say, well, he needs to throw for 300 yards every game. But uh, Well, we didn't ask him to. Plus, our yeah. offense with people, you know, what you feel is, sometimes you lose perspective on is with, with three uh, punt returns for touchdowns and interception for uh, return for touchdown. There's four possessions yeah. that they that yeah. they don't get because we're kicking the ball right back to their offense again. Yeah. Let's go to highlights. First quarter action. Sooners off to another good start. Sooner by choice. Punishment headed for the Bruins, and that's the way it happened. And Bob, there you are before this one started in a 79 degree day. It was absolutely perfect. Uh, you going around trying to wish each of the guys good luck, but uh, it could not have been a better day. Uh, just the sun was out. And Saw a lot of people after the game all sunburned uh, <laughs> that were, especially anyone that was over on that east side. Start off really good here, really uh, Broadney Poole and Mark Clayton uh, down there making the tackle inside the 20 on the opening kickoff, which is excellent. There's uh, Teddy Lehman, uh, Dusty Dvorak, Pasha Jackson all ganging up, making a good stop right here. You see it again. Tommy Harris at the point of attack pushes them right back in, uh, t to Teddy and a bunch of good gang tackling there. Second and 10. Here uh, Wayne Chambers and Brandon Everidge kind of bump off uh, their running back and he picks up a few yards. Good, good strong run by their back right there. So it's third and three. This will be complete, but sure. not enough for the first down. And uh, Perkins did have the three touchdowns, but Bob also some that just came back for 19 yards. One was called back uh, for penalty, but this is kind of the norm here. This is a, we had one block. There's a case where we had one guy uh, that we lost coming downfield, and if we block him, that's another touchdown. And we have Antonio here uh, that's going to be with us here on the show today, and uh, we'll get a, some word from Perk and figure out how he does that all the time. Second and ten after an incompletion. That's works third and six. Good pick up there. There's Mark Clayton finding a hole in the middle. Excellent catch, and Jason puts it right, right between his. Uh, I don't want to say between the numbers since he only has one number, but it puts it right <laughs> on the number. It puts it right in the circle of that nine. <laughs> Clayton has a big game, and again, Mark is here as well. We'll talk to him. Mark's had a bunch of good games the last two weeks, over 100 yards, and it made some excellent catches again in this game. Another big catch there for a first down. Good throw by Jason. 
works on the carry, and we're going to get uh, Tommy Harris in here for a little block up there top. There he is at the top, knocks his guy off the screen, and Ronaldo works, picks up the first down. This is fourth and short right here. Look at Tommy move, move his man out of there, and Ronaldo works, finds the space. <laughs> Don't you know that he likes being on that end of it instead of being held all the time? He does. Another good throw and catch. Jason White to uh, Juwan Rankins out there. Juwan, look at Jason come all the way to his third or fourth read, all the way back to the other side of the field. And Juwan's really coming on to be an excellent receiver. Excellent catch there. First and ten. Second and seven, and Works will take it to the house. Ball on his block of Kelvin Shashan. Excellent job by Ronaldo powering it in. Good, good run. Good, good blocking up front. And nice job by Ronaldo sticking it in the end zone. Four games, Sooner score on the first series of every game. Three touchdowns and a field goal. And Oklahoma, 11 plays, 57 yards, 7 to nothing. There will be no return on the kickoff. And UCLA take it over at the 20. I guess this is a highlight for Trey DiCarlo there. Got a, <laughs> got a touch back. Leg stronger though, isn't it, Bob? Aren't it is. Yeah, he's, he's, he's got more power than he did a year ago, and, and I'm sure that'll continue as he as he gains some strength and maturity. Good, good tackle there by Eric Bassey. Limits the catch. Uh, here we miss a tackle at the point of attack and let the guy get up inside there for a first down. There's better tackle and Wayne Chambers there with Dante Nicholson. Here we have a blitz on. And uh, force an errant throw. And uh, here we come with another blitz. And they throw the ball out to the flat. And we, again, we miss a tackle. And he picks up a first down. That's what happens when you miss tackles. Normally, we're pretty good about not missing them. And here they're, gonna, they're working us a little bit. Second and four. This is a pickup of five. Again, just... He's doing a nice job running, and we like to think we could tackle a little bit better. There's a boot pass. Well defended. You see Dante Nicholson and Antonio Perkins both back there defending the play. Short throw there. We thought that was a, a fumble, but they rolled it uh, incomplete, I believe. Third and five. And he Eight. picked up six, I believe. Mm -hmm. One of those drives where we're close, we're close, we just can't quite get them stopped. And early on, you saw a couple of missed tackles, and there they made a nice play and picked up just what they needed. There's Wayne Chambers with another tackle. Good defense there. Yeah. Medlock, a 48-yard field goal attempt, and it's good. 14 plays, 50 yards. Sooners leading 7-3. It's a good, good kick by them. That that was into a fairly decent wind and, and he powered it through 48 yards. He, he's got a good leg. Play action pass. He was hitting Mark Clayton down the middle. Uh, excellent job. Look at Mark compete again. Uh, he just fights for the football and then I just love watching him compete with the ball once he starts to run with it. Great job getting open in the seam. Excellent catch with defender, you know, just misses the ball. And again, there's, there's Mark fighting his way through and making people miss him, getting a lot of extra yards. That's a gain of 47 yard line, 47 yards rather. Second and 11. Good pocket there to step up in. And Brandon Jones is usually going to catch this ball. This is, now we're going to come right back and throw an interception, which tells you why you can't drop passes. That, that ball should have been caught for a touchdown. And here, Next play, we, we throw an interception, and we got to work on Jason's tackling. But uh, nice job, Hustle, to, to get him down. There's Jamal Brown, a 300-pound guy, running the length of the field and, and gives us a chance to stop him. We're not going to overrun this play. If you watch right there, we just overran it by, by a yard and missed the tackle, and they put it in the end zone. And that'll do it after one quarter, 10 to 7. Stay with us. A lot of scoring going on here in the second quarter. Back in a moment. Second quarter, third and four from the 26. And this is our drive right after they've scored and gone ahead. And this is a great answer. This is great play by Jason on third and four. He picks up the first down for six. 
and uh, we're going to go on an 80-yard drive right here to answer answer back on their touchdown and, and take uh, take the lead back over. So this, this is a lot of character by the offense and come out and have an excellent drive. This puts Oklahoma in a third and four situation. Throw a screen. Nice play by Jason. Nice run in there by Kiwan to pick up the first down. And really a nice pass there. Jason was getting pressured and found a little hole to get the ball to Kiwan. Look at Jason pull it down and then throws it. And look at Mark go up and fight for the ball. Again, I've talked about Mark Clayton's competitiveness and he just competes for the ball, competes when he when he wants he has it. And I guess this shows Chuck Long and uh, your confidence and Jason's in his ability to make a play. I think that's what it is. Jason just has confidence. Mark's going to go up and fight for the football and get it. And there's a come right back with the play action boot pass and find Travis Wilson alone in the end zone. As Bob said, eight plays, 80 yards. And this one caps it. Jason buys himself a little bit of extra time and sees him in the hole. Excellent execution. 14 to 10, and we pick it up, three and out. It is fourth and seven. Here we go, here comes Antonio. We, again, great stop, three and out. They only get a couple of yards. Got a return on, and we had a blue return where we were going to the left. And Antonio at first watched him come to the right, and I thought, oh, he's going the wrong way, but he was just setting his blocks up, and there he goes, uh, out the window, or out the left window, and watch him blocking. Dan Townsend, as you watch down here in your right corner, blocked his guy for about 60 yards. Uh, really uh, excellent block. A bunch of those guys worked hard. And Antonio, just an incredible run as you watch the beginning of it. Guys, as you see them holding up at the line of scrimmage, want to give them some time to, to get started. Antonio's going to make this, this guy miss him, stiff arms him. There's two great blocks. Mark uh, Bradley and Brodney uh, Poole, I believe, had those. Antonio slipping one tackle and then racing down the sideline. He just outran the guy that had the angle on him right there. And again, Dan Townsend had an excellent block on this play. We have a look forward to talking to Antonio about that. He set him up, as you mentioned, Bob, very, very well. Oklahoma on top now. 21 to 10. UCLA gets it back at the 20. Good tackle there by Dante Nicholson. Dante Nicholson involved in more. Um, activity wasn't involved. yes he's up closer to the line and, and uh, starting to feel a little more comfortable up there good play right there that's uh, Larry Burdine hitting him in the backfield with Dusty Dvorak here we come with a blitz and Dante Nicholson with the sack good play good play on third down good pressure there's Dan Cody beating his guy off the corner and pushes him right to Dante and Dante's where he needs to be to finish it here we go with another Return. Good block there by uh, Eric Bassey. And they defend this one pretty well. Sooners three and out. Ferguson 57 yard punt, and UCLA has it back. Come with the draw play. I think someone hit, hit his arm right there as he was trying to throw the ball. Good pressure. Here we're just a little late getting back to the flat. We were protecting downfield, and they pick up a first down on third down right there. There's the draw play. Good hit inside there. I believe that's Wayne Chambers and Teddy Lehman. Second and eight. Pick up a few. Excellent uh, short yardage uh, defense yesterday. We stopped them many a times. Uh, Heck, heck of a stop right there on third and two. See great penetration up inside by the defensive line. Teddy hits him and I see uh, uh, Jonathan Jackson right there closing in on him. Eric Bass, he had a piece of him. Here's our punt safe. Uh, so we have our defense out there for the fake in case they were to fake something. And Antonio, look at him just make, run past people, make some people miss him. And, and there he is. Once he gets the crease, he's hard to stop. Okay, Bob, would you... Punt safe means we're, it's, it's fourth and two near midfield, or we have the alert on that, look, they may try and just snap it to the, you know, the uh, personal protector, the, up, the protect, protection guy up there, and just try and smash it forward and get to. So we leave our defense alignment in there, and, and you see Antonio right here miss, make a peep, miss him, finds a crease, and then he's going to outrun. He feels these guys in back of him, outruns them, 
And there he is, he's off to the races. And there's some great blocks even by our D linemen and defensive ends. You see, uh, there's Dusty running down there with them. Great play. And we'll see one more look at it. So what I what I mean is we're we're more this the our defensive linemen DNs we don't work on them blocking downfield as much really at all. We just right. want them to be in there in case it's a fake. We're going to get the ball back. But you see him. I think that's JJ Jonathan Jackson with the diving block there at the end. Um, you know to ensure that that Burt gets it all the way back. But uh, guys hustled around and it's excellent execution and, and really just a special play by Antonio. Once again, 28 to 10. When we come back, you'll see the man behind that play and also Mark Clayton. Stay with us. Welcome back to the program. Bob mentioned some of the players that got uh, game balls, and two of them are here. But between them, they got four game balls. <laughs> two of the slipperiest guys you have, hard they're, to tackle. They're very competitive. Uh, Antonio Perkins uh, uh, here on, on your right, our right, uh, right out a lot in Oklahoma. Uh, he's been a big play guy for us on defense, uh, but also in all his return special teams. And, and Mark Clayton, uh, right out of Dallas, Texas, um, a great receiver for us. It's made a bunch of big, big catches. and. Uh, Let's start with uh, with you, Antonio. Uh, let's t talk to everybody about what your you know your first touchdown that we had the blue return. Were you were you setting it up going right, or did you really forget where the return was? <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I be so nervous out there, I just forget where to go. But <laughs> I try to read the blockers, but I knew it was blue, and I was trying to basically set the blockers up to, just so I go one way and help them out, make them get an easier block, and they blocked their hearts out for me. I believe the whole game, and they wanted it more than I did. I believe. All yes. right. As you watch it right here, tell, tell everybody what's going through your head right now. I saw the man, I saw my man fall down, Poteet, so I tried to see what was going to happen after that, and I seen a seam and tried to hit it. And it's, and it's just off to the races. Antonio, yeah. do you see uh, one defender coming at you, or do you get a, a broad view of what's out there, or what do you, or do you even know? I basically, I look, I see the whole field. When they first kick the ball, I look at the, um, the gunners, see how far along they are, and see if I could um, which way I could go easier, the easiest, and I just basically basically make a read off of them. The yep. Gunners, of course, being the outside, uh, the, the outside guys on the crop. flanks coming. That's right. And this one was in our punt safe situation. How much, you might tell everyone, how much do we practice our defensive linemen blocking downfield? <laughs> no, we don't do that at the walkthrough. Walk <laughs> just tell them just to, to block for a second, watch the fake, and they're they, not really supposed to be downfield that far. They did a good job. We're going to have to work on that more. This is the last one for the record, and everybody in the house knew that you just needed the eight yards, and you got a little more. <laughs> yeah, I believe the blockers got a little greedy. <laughs> they wanted more than the eight. But yeah, that's right. There was some excellent blocking on that last one. And uh, vertical jump with a 40, or what, what is it? 42. 42. Folks, that's really high, and a, and a very fast 40-yard uh, dash as well. And Mark, uh, I've, I've talked a lot about you, and I don't want to embarrass you on TV, but um, your competitiveness with the football, going after it once you catch the football, running with it, uh, you might tell people maybe where that comes from, or what's, what's your thoughts on uh, your execution as a receiver? Um, it's been a long time coming, and you know, since I got here, it took a lot of hard work to get where I've been, where I'm at now. And just when I'm out there, I feel like I'm gonna do my best for this team, and I'm gonna work hard and do whatever I have to do to get to the end zone. Jason uh, has done an excellent job of, of giving you some opportunities, both on the short ones and the faith he showed in you yesterday on the deep ball. Yeah, um, Jason has a lot of trust in the receiving core. Uh, <laughs> he's gonna throw it up and give us a chance to make plays. This one just shows his pinpoint accuracy, just, just putting it in there. We were talking last week, Mark, about your ability to, when you catch the football, to get your head around very quickly to, to see what's in, in front of you. Um, it, that's important, but also securing that ball first. Yeah. And uh, afterwards, what I do with the ball is just all willpower. There it is. I want it more than the other, do, other guys. Yeah. He's just trying to make a play. We get, and uh, and you, here's the one I believe where you, you're up between two defenders. And, and what do you what are you concentrating on here? The point of the ball, the whole way in my head with the ball. The I'm point trying. of the ball. Mm -hmm. And when two guys are out there, are you trying to do anything with your body in terms of trying to shield anyone off? Um, not necessarily. I just know that I got to get the ball at the hot point. Yeah, at its I know the point. DBs are taught to go get it at its hot point, so I'm gonna try to beat them to it. Six of you out there having a great year, aren't they, Bob? They are. Our receivers are really coming up big, making big plays. I've uh, been very consistent. 
And, uh, and Jason's uh, really throwing the deep ball well. He's throwing all balls well, short. Right. But we, we've, uh, you might say to talk about that, Mark. We, we have emphasized the deep ball more. And uh, one of the reasons why, what, what are a couple of the reasons why? Because it stretches the defense out, definitely. It makes them, you know, sit off in a little question, as UCLA was doing, sitting pretty soft. And we was able to come along with our run game in the second half. But that, that's, that's really big as an offense to be able to hit a couple deep balls and get the sidelines going, get the fans going. It's, it's a momentum builder. And wouldn't you say that Jason likes it, uh, likes the deep balls as well, that uh, likes throwing them? Yeah, he yeah. likes to see the beautiful spirals go along. Bob, Antonio plays cornerback and plays it quite well. So many of us focus on punt returns, but not a bad cornerback. You know, I just got a call earlier today, uh, Antonio. I haven't even told you yet from Steve Spurrier Jr. who was talking to me. He says, boy, what was I ever thinking not giving up uh, Antonio as a wide receiver and letting him be a DB? <laughs> so do you prefer a defensive back or a running back, or excuse me, or a wide receiver? Well, right now I'm just real comfortable at DB, and I, and I love the coaches there. and. The, they just put a lot, a lot of fiery instinct in me, and Coach Mike stays on us, and coaches as well. All right. Thanks for coming, and Thanks, uh, keep man. it up. Thanks, Thanks Mark. Guys. You're welcome. All right, stay with us. We'll go to third quarter highlights when we return. Bob, I think it's a credit to you and, you and your staff and that not only do you have outstanding players, but you have a, kids that graduate. We've seen those numbers recently, but uh, you don't have any bad apples out there, do you? No, they're, they're all good young men. I tell you, it's a pleasure to be with them every day. These guys, uh, Mark and Antonio, are great examples of, of the guys we get to be around every day. Very sharp, very classy guys. And uh, we are proud of the way they work. Uh, the fact that we're, you know, our graduation rates this year, 74% uh, overall, overall in the athletic department, and uh, which is tops in the Big 12 Conference, and 65% uh, in football alone, which is, I believe, uh, second just behind Baylor in the, in the Big 12 Conference. Wow. So we're, we work hard at it, and these guys are sharp young men that, that work hard at school and at football. All right, let's go back to Owen Field, third quarter action, the Sooners on top. And Oklahoma will receive the kickoff. Felt like we played a solid half. Uh, you know, we had the one drive on, on defense where we missed a few tackles and, you know, gave up a little, uh, some yardage. And we had the one interception that gave them the ball, you know, down in our end of the field. And so we felt like we were playing pretty well, but wanted to come out and, and play uh, well. This, uh, that's an excellent catch by Jawan Rankins down on the ground. And, uh, but anyway, we, we come out and we're not going to have a, a great start. We end up going three and out here and uh, forced to punt. Punt protection was better. I believe our timing getting the ball off was better. Excellent coverage there. That's uh, uh, Russell Dennison down there with an excellent tackle off of our punt unit. And uh, Blake Ferguson punted the ball well. Had a, had a good average and hung the ball up. Look at Eric Bassey with a great hit up to Tom, Tommy Harrison. Look at Tommy run with the ball. He changed it arms I don't three know. times. He just wanted to show that he could change hands, I think. <laughs> he didn't need to, but he looks good running with it, doesn't he? We might might have to use him at fullback here next this next game. Watch Eric Bassey again. Comes in, good helmet on the football, pops the ball out. Tommy's right there. Look at him running. He's got the ball in the proper hand. He just yeah. wanted to show everyone he, he didn't think he realized, oh, it was supposed to be in that <laughs> hand. <and laughs> I tell you uh, what, we, we kind of laugh, but uh, not many looks, guys, a uh, little less than 300, run like that. No, I'll promise you, he's uh, he's an excellent athlete. Now, again, another fabulous person with uh, his character and the way he works at school. Excellent young man. Kewan Jones sticking it up in there. Nice play action. They were working so hard at stopping our run game up there short that we snuck the tight end out there behind him and an excellent throw by Jason puts it right over the shoulder of Lance Donnelly and Lance makes an excellent catch and touchdown good fake look at Jason with pressure still puts the ball in the perfect spot with the guy uh, about to sack him great play just held it as long as he could and that one worked out well for the Sooners and the score is now 35 to 10 Throw a quick pass there and misses one tackle and picks up a first. Bragg, a gain of 11. Look at Wayne Chambers right there, as you see at the point of attack, takes on the fullback and makes a strong tackle for no gain. 
Brett, uh, there they sneak the ball in right between our two defenders. Brandon Everidge has a great hit, but that's a good throw and catch. They put it right in the right spot, right at the right time. Here we're just a little bit off. We There they uh, pick up another first down here. You see we got two defenders outside, overrun it, miss a tackle. That, that's all it takes on some drives. And they're doing an excellent job executing. Uh, again, I don't, here we miss a tackle again. Quarterback runs up inside for another first down. So just kind of a frustrating drive. Here, uh, excellent tackle by Larry Verdine in the backfield. He's, you know, it's a big play. Larry's play a good well player, overall. yes. Larry's coming on and playing hard, playing well. For those just not tuning in, Derek Strait did not play the All-American candidate at uh, cornerback. Good pressure again, Larry Burdine, but just 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 misses him, and and that was a third down play that allowed him to pick up the first down. So we're just a little bit off all along on this drive, and there they're going to be short. And here we're going to have an excellent goal line stand. Again, great penetration. Brandon Everidge hits him in the backfield with Teddy Lehman. They lose yards here. Watch Brandon come through. Good, strong tackle. He and Teddy. Excellent play by Brandon and Teddy. Third down. There's Brandon Everidge again hitting him in the backfield and, and uh, holds him on third down. And here, fourth down. I'm anxious to see he never had control of the ball. <laughs> and you believe they were trying to sneak it and he was going to get stuffed. The ball, usually in fourth down, the, the person that fumbles the ball has to recover it. Right. Because they never had possession of the snap, it was a good play and it's a correct call. Oh, but that was just, the correct call. It was a correct call, but it's just kind of unfortunate on our part that uh, that's the way it worked out, that they never did have possession of the snap because we were going to stuff the uh, quarterback sneak. So 35-17, that's an interception right there. Good tackle again, Wayne Chambers and Brandon Everidge. Watch Brandon Everidge break out to the flat, deflect the football with a great play, and there's Eric Bassey right there to make the interception and score a touchdown. Good play. That's yeah. two touchdowns in two years here for Eric Bassey. Last year had a touchdown against Alabama. Watch Brandon read the pass. Almost catches it himself, but at least tips it to, to Eric Bassey, and he's got a clean, clean road right down the boundary for a touch. Had a couple of other tips. I know Jonathan Jackson you got one on the edge. I tell you what, you get them out there, Bob, you've got a good chance, don't sure, you? Sure, you tip the ball up in the air, you're, you're giving yourself opportunities for, for these kind of plays. Forty-two to seventeen, and this one will go the other direction. We have uh, two players out on the, the right side of our cover unit. Uh, one uh, just fell down, slipped, trying to come in and penetrate their their wedge that was on the outside. And a few guys inside didn't get all the way across, and that's all it takes is a seam, and he hit it. And, and uh, good execution on their part, not so good on ours. Lots more scoring. Stay with us in the fourth. Sooners have it to start the fourth quarter at the 30-yard line. Good run there. Nice pause by Kewan Jones. Let his block develop and then hits a nice crease. Anyone particular up front, Bob, play well? Um, you know, all those guys seem to do pretty well. Our protection was really good all day. And, uh, you know, so you know, I, I felt like all of them up front were really pretty solid. We had trouble with that handoff. Jason and Kiwan just kind of didn't, didn't uh, mesh correctly. Third and five, pick up a seven. Well, that was zipped in there. Stuck right in there. Jason really is throwing the ball awfully well. BJ makes a good catch. Deep pass. He finds uh, Bubba Moses over there uh, inside and getting another good pickup. Nice job by Jason executing the boot. Feels the pressure outside, steps up inside, sees it. It's a shoulder turned up. He's, he's making all the throws you ask of him. He is. He's, uh, he's, he's playing well. Good run there uh, by Kiwan Jones. A nice block on the outside by Kelvin Shishan. Came around and made a good block. Watch Kelvin pull him number 70 in front of him. It's a block right there. We get the corner. Nice run by Kiwan, getting his shoulders down, getting the extra yard there at the end. And this is on second and goal. We get some penetration off the back edge. Here, again, we 
They just do a nice job defending. We need to block better there at the point of attack. Try and jump over the top, and we're just short. Third down. Find a nice crease, Ronaldo works, sticks it in. So the Sooners respond. Here it is one more time. 11 plays, 80 yards. Take up five minutes off the clock, and the Sooners go on top, 49 to 24. Bruins take it over, second and 10 at the 20. Big play coming here. Teddy Lehman will make it. Nice interception uh, there by Teddy. The receiver just drops the ball, and Teddy has excellent quickness, reaches down, gets it to court to hit the ground. And good play. Great field position. The receiver drops it, and there, there's Teddy right there for the catch. White out of the shotgun will throw it for Ronaldo Works. They get good pressure, and, and Jason just throws this out of bounds. Just to yeah, I'm just reading my notes here, and I look up. I don't yeah. think he can throw it for Ronaldo. Well, he was, it was to Ronaldo, but he knew, yeah, he, he tried to throw it over his head and yeah. out of bounds. So. All right, third and eight. Get pressured, but there's Jason again, just avoids it, gets the ball up, uh, up inside at least. It doesn't lose yards, gives us a chance for a field goal. Good, good kick. Trey DiCarlo was very good uh, yesterday and a good solid kick right there. 41 yarder, he punched through, and there you see the Sooners on top now, 52 to 24. And you got some points on special teams, but this was a good UCLA defense that you were up against. Sure, they're, you know, they came into, into the game, I believe, only surrendering one touchdown through two games with Colorado and Illinois. That's pretty good. And, uh, there they drop the pass. Nice job there, uh, Teddy Lehman, Wayne Chambers with the tackle. I believe Brandon Everett turned it into him. Try a little swing pass that Wayne Chambers is ready to, to defend. Forced another punt right there. I believe they punted that one out of bounds. Nice run there by Dante uh, Hickson. Bust through a tackle and good hard running. See him coming around the corner. Good strong run right there at, uh, after contact. 111 yards on the day for the Sooners running the football. Another nice move by Dante Hickson there in the backfield. Gets around the corner. He and Paul Thompson are working it up inside there. Paul Thompson here back to pass. Someone grabbing on him, and there he takes it down. Nothing to almost gets away you see excellent job running with the football and just a little bit short we were forced to punt right there they come with a boot pass there's dusty Dvorak with an excellent sack dusty's playing well he's really uh, playing in a strong way and see him bust through the line and make a good play i think we had a blitz on there teddy layman was also rushing Bob, when you rotate your four down linemen, do you do that by any by any certain way? I mean, do you match up Tommy Harris with anyone in particular? Uh, no, they uh, coach Ship, uh, Coach Wright, just do it uh, depending on how tired or when they feel they need a break. There goes Antonio out the gate on the right side. Excellent blocking there. Michael Thompson, you see on the left side there. Uh, Matt McCoy, uh, Russell Dennison, all on our right side of our return unit. Uh, are all right at the point of attack and uh, do an excellent job blocking for them. You see it here. See Michael Thompson on the right, Matt McCoy, Russell Dennison blocking their people. All have excellent blocks on this return at the point of attack. Eric Bassey, Juan Poteet. You see Eric uh, right there. You see Michael Thompson on the right, Matt Russell Dennison on the left. Create the seam, and, and that's all it takes. Perk takes it out the right window and, and for a score. Breaks the NCAA record that's been in place for over 30 years, I believe. Wow. Yeah. And you could tell by the faces on your team in the locker room, Bob, with the shot we had when the show started, that 
Uh, the players are proud of it, but they're also very happy for him because he's such a likable guy, he it is. seems to me. very humble. He, he wants to compliment his other guys, his other players. Uh, you know, he's, he's just, he is. He's, uh, he's just a wonderful person and doesn't like, doesn't want all the attention to himself, but uh, really, uh, you know, he just has a, a special gift and, and great speed when, when he gets that hole. Carl Drell, first-year coach. Sooners won at 59-24. to 24. So now you have the, the week off, uh, you've gotten off to a good start, and besides the injury to Lance Mitchell, it looks like you, you came out of that one pretty healthy and ready to go? We did. We didn't. Everybody else is uh, still fine and ready to roll. We're, we're uh, four games into it, undefeated, and uh, feel good about the way we're progressing as a team. Uh, we need to continue to work and improve in all areas, and that's what this off week will do. We'll uh, take a little bit of time, won't practice maybe quite as long, and uh, we'll take Friday off. Uh, the other days we'll work to improve in some key areas, offense, defense, special teams, uh, while trying to get a little bit of rest and heal, heal some guys up. Thanks. All right, stay with us. We have one final segment when we come back. It's time now for this week's OG&E Power Play of the Game. Perkins takes it 36-40. That ought to do it. 25-40, 35 30, 25 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown. Holy cow. All time NCAA record. Antonio OG and E power at the speed of life. And we promise that's the last time you'll see that, but those are good things to have to see over and over. Uh, Bob recruiting has gone so well, better each year it seems like, and I know at the game Saturday you had a, a good number of recruits, didn't you? Uh, we really did. They saw a beautiful day. It was a beautiful game uh, day to, to play a game. Uh, you know, the addition to the stadium, being out there in that crowd was another sellout or a record crowd, and to play well. And then, uh, you know, our, our recruits uh, really did enjoy it. Uh, we a lot of interaction with them, and uh, so, so that part is, is still going awfully well even for this year. And that's uh, positive, uh, you know, uh, here coming into the off week, uh, you know, like I said before, 4-0, oh and, uh, and, but we still need to improve. This will be a good week to head into the Big 12 Conference to work on some specific areas. Your punting, I know the special teams was an area, uh, and it looked like that was an area of improvement. It, it was, and, and you would hope so. Uh, we're going to continue to work on it to, to continue to, to improve our timing, uh, getting the ball off in a, in a quicker, uh, more timely way, but, but also protecting. That needs to continue to improve. We still can be better in returning the, the football, not, punt re, not only punt returns, kickoff returns, kickoff coverage. You know, we gave up one. Uh, we had a breakdown there that will work. Uh, defense, offense, still, we, you know, this early in the season, we, we've got to get better at everything that we're doing if we're going to be a, a Big 12 uh, team that's going to have a chance to win the championship. All right, congratulations on a great start. Thank you, Dean. Well, the